Hello, and welcome to PLG podcast number 16, Conflict Management and the Role of the Project Leader. I love this topic because conflict is inevitable. Conflict is a necessary condition for innovation, and it is necessary to derive new ideas and uh, new solutions. It's inevitable on projects, and it is to be expected in any enterprise where economic resources are limited and constraints exist. The question is not whether or not conflict is bad or good. The question must be about how we actively manage conflict to achieve project and organizational success. Conflict can exist internally within project teams, and it can exist externally. And it's part of any uh, important project. Anything uh, worthwhile doing will generate conflict. But there are two types of conflict. One type is the destructive type, the one that's associated with anger, ego, and hostility. The other type is related to objective conflict, related to tasks and facts. And it is the type of conflict that generates ideas where we can have reasonable disagreements to try to generate better solutions, where ego is removed from the equation. That type of conflict is good. What we want to do is avoid the aggressive ego-driven conflict and drive organizations and projects towards the good kind of conflict where we can generate alternative ideas and solutions and have the discussion revolve around tasks and not personalities and not driven by ego. So our job as project leaders is to manage teams and manage conflict in a way that results in active leadership, where we can focus on objective things like budgets and tasks and technical solutions, where we could look at the big picture and depersonalize the problems that arise in any project. And that leads to a better way of managing projects and makes us better project leaders and in the long run results in more successful projects.